all right so in this project we are going to focus on the air image targets so we start with an empty scene with xr origin and ar session set up if you haven't already go to the link in the description and find the boiler project with everything set up properly now let's add a track image manager on our xr origin and it has a few fields but one of the main one is the library so this is the reference image library that we can find from create xr and a referenced image library so this library contains all the images that we can track using this tracker so you can add for example i'm adding a new image so i can give it a name i already have downloaded an image for tracking so make sure the texture type is default and we need to basically go to the reference image and drag and drop this texture into our image field now the size is basically the physical size right so i already know the size of this like this asset so i'm just going to give it that value in meter and we also need to make sure that the texture is detected at runtime so when we are tracking it's basically tracked in runtime and you can obviously can add more images if you want to add multiple uh, image targets right so it's, it's a better practice to do like not to add a lot of image targets and in here we can have basically drag and drop the library and also need to make sure that we specify how many image that we want to track so i'm going to put two here for example so i can track maximum two image at the same time right and finally we need to put a prefab that is going to spawn whenever we have the image track right so yeah so we can drag and drop the cat that we have already created in our last project but i have downloaded this car assets from sketchfab again you can find the link in the description so in the like when you download make sure that the car is a fpx right and also make sure you create a prefab out of it so you can drag and drop the car into the attract uh, image prefab and that's all about